Good morning, and welcome to Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center. Bishop Timothy Byron McGee and Pastor Bernadine Bell McGee are honored to have you worship with them at 16012 Cottage Grove in South Holland, Illinois. Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center is where we believe Jesus is Lord, building his kingdom is our purpose, and every guest or member is our priority. We are Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center, where our motto is inspiring ordinary people to do extraordinary things. Wherever you are online, join, like, follow, and share Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center. We can be found on Facebook and YouTube. Now, let's enter into our worship. God, we bless you. We thank you because you are a victorious God. And if he's a victorious God, we are a victorious people. Because if we are heirs and joint heirs with Christ, if he reigns victorious, then surely we reign victorious. Can we, can we put a praise right there? God, thank you. Because I'm connected to you. That when you reign in victory, I reign in victory. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah.
together. It gives me confidence there. If I know that I reign victorious with the Father, then I know that all things. Bring it down a little bit. So there's another song that says this right here, that you are working all things for my good. You are working all
so when I cannot see it, God, I still believe. Last time. You are working on me for my good. Now, if you truly believe that this morning, if you truly believe that this morning, somebody open your mouth and say, it's going to happen. We hope that you were blessed by today's worship. Now, let's prepare our hearts and our minds to receive a fresh word from the Lord from our very own phenomenal teacher and spiritual leader of Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center, Bishop Timothy Byron McGee. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the audience, up in the house of the Lord. Amen. We thank you, even those in our streaming audience right now. Go to make a neighbor and a friend to let them know that Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center is streaming live now. Amen. Somebody shout right now. Amen. Amen. Listen, I want to thank God for all of you. Amen. We thank God for Dr. Bernadine Bell. May he be with us on today. Amen. My wife. Amen. I just thank God for all of our elders, all of our deacons. Amen. And we give God glory for all of you. Well, I, I felt compelled to continue something that uh, we started back in 2021. Uh, we know that we've named 2022 the year of the remarkable you. Amen. Uh, but on today, I, I want to go a little bit further and I want to talk about positioned for the remarkable. Positioned for the remarkable. Amen. I want you to turn with me to, in your Bible to Luke 19. Luke 19, 1 through 5. Your Bibles, your devices, your iPad, your phones, your computers, whatever you have. Amen. Turn with me to Luke 19, 1 through 5. Amen. Amen. And it reads like this. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. Uh, for he uh, was to pass that way, verse 5. And when Jesus had come to the place, he looked up and he saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. Uh, somebody say positioned for the remarkable. And so people, this is what I'm understanding. A lot of times we want certain things and we want God to do certain things and even uh, things we want naturally and uh, uh, financially. We want certain things that we're not positioned for. Yeah. We want things sometimes that we're not qualified for. Or. So this is the year, uh, 2022, the year of the remarkable you. Somebody say, you're going to be remarkable all this year. And so people of God, I, 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 I was praying and God dropped this little story in my heart about that kid. That kid, he was a young, uh, rich tax collector. Uh, and uh, 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 the Bible said uh, that he was a sinner and 
he didn't do right. He did not live right. He wasn't uh, uh, like the disciples. And uh, I didn't go into this part of the story, but after Jesus called that kids and said, uh, I must abide at your house, the, 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 the disciples and the church folks started complaining. Now Jesus is hanging out with sinners. Uh, 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 look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if he can hang out with you, he can hang out with anybody else. Before you start talking about he hanging out with sinners, I, I just want to remind you something. I, I know you're saved and sanctified and you say you got a ghost, but you ain't all that squeaky clean. Amen. Everybody have an off day, and some of us live off. But anyway, anyway, uh, 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 the disciples begin to complain that he's going to eat with sinners and going to stay at a sinner's house. And so therefore, uh, 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 that kid didn't know Jesus, he didn't know about Jesus, and he only heard that Jesus was coming that way. And uh, that kid was a rich man, and the theologian suggested that he was only about four feet nine inches. Uh, and they considered him a dwarf. Uh, now he climbed in a sycamore tree, uh, and the sycamore tree on the average grows 75 to 100 feet high, and it, sometimes the trunk of it is 10 feet wide. Uh, and so therefore, uh, in order for that kid uh, to see Jesus, uh, 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 he had to do something specific. And the Bible says what he did was, when he heard that Jesus was coming, he ran in front of everybody else. He ran in front of everybody else to get in the tree so he could see. Did y'all hear what I said? He ran in front of everybody else to get in the tree so he could see. He didn't have no cloud. And y'all know something about Jesus. Uh, 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 y'all talk about church folk, but if you read about the disciples, they were pretty cruel cool at times. Remember? They didn't want the children to come around Jesus. They didn't want the widow woman to come around Jesus. They didn't want the woman with the issue of blood to come around Jesus. They didn't want the blind man to come around Jesus. They didn't want that kid to come around Jesus. And you got to watch who you let come around you. Because they may be stopping you from doing something you have to do that's quite important. And so Jesus uh, didn't have a respect to a person. Uh, if you wanted to see him, uh, he wanted to see you. Uh, and so therefore, uh, because that kid didn't have any clout, uh, that kid didn't have any prestige, uh, all he had uh, was a tree. Uh, he ran in front of them uh, to get in the tree uh, so he could see. Uh, I, 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 I want to pose, I want to pose this question to you. We're talking about being positioned for the remarkable, being positioned for the remarkable. I, 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 I want to run this past you, and it says this. You don't always have to be right in your position, but you have to be in the right position. Y'all didn't get that. You don't always have to be right in your position, but you have to be in the right position. Zacchaeus was a sinner. He wasn't right in position. He wasn't right in his position, but he was in the right position to see Jesus. And so, therefore, people of God, uh, here, we believe in God for the remarkable. He was a, 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 a tax collector, and he was in the right position to see Jesus. But, see, people of God, this is what I wanted you to understand something, that, that, that when the odds are against you, sometimes you have to do things a little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, so, Zacchaeus uh, had to run ahead of everything. 
everybody. Uh, look at somebody say you may have to run. You have to run ahead of everybody uh, to get in the sycamore tree. Uh, why was the sycamore tree important? Uh, the sycamore tree uh, was the elevated place. Uh, somebody say elevated place. Uh, he had to get higher uh, than where he was uh, in order to see uh, what was going on. Uh, he had to be elevated. Uh, he didn't let no excuses stop him uh, that he was short. Uh, that he he didn't know nobody. Uh, he said, I want to see Jesus. Uh, I heard he was coming this way. Uh, in order for me to see him, I got to be in an elevated place. Uh, uh, we know about the tree. Uh, Jesus died on a tree. Uh, he was bruised on a tree. Uh, he was pierced on a tree. Uh, he was nailed on a tree. Uh, so you might have to be like that kid. Uh, if you want clarity and understanding, uh, you might have to run uh, and climb in a tree. Uh, if you want to look at things that are not looking like they remarkable, uh, they may not be going according to plan. Uh, things are not going according to what you expected. Uh, this is the month of May, uh, and many of us might have expected uh, to be further than where we are right now. Uh, and you may not see, uh, but the reason uh, that he had to get in an elevated place, uh, he had to get higher uh, in order for him to see. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, when things are not going your way, uh, come out from among them uh, and go run uh, into an elevated place. Uh, look at somebody. Uh, say, go run and get in a tree. Go run and get in a tree because has anybody in here besides me had some plans in 2021, got all excited about 2022, the year of the remarkable you. I mean, it wasn't like you were just talking. You was you was talking, you was planning, you was strategizing, you was working, and things still haven't turned out yet, any, any, anybody, anybody, anybody. I see, this is, this is what you know. You can't always get distracted by what you don't see uh, uh, because you got to remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. And so, people of God, You've got to understand, I don't care how long it's going. I don't care how wrong it's going. Don't yield to defeat. Don't stop trying. Don't stop pushing. Don't stop aiming higher. Don't stop pressing. Don't stop believing. People of God, if you can't see, run and get in a tree, uh, somebody say a higher place. Uh, see, one of the challenges are uh, when we're among ourselves, uh, too much is going on, uh, and we become victimized uh, by our circumstances. Uh, and so, in order uh, for you to see clearer, uh, you have to run and get in a tree. Uh, like Zacchaeus did. Let me tell you something here. Uh, and so, people of God, uh, you've got to understand the reason Zacchaeus ran and got into a tree was because he need clarity. Anybody in this room, I know what you've been believing. I know what you've been trusting. I know what you're hoping for. But does anybody need clarity? Like Lord, singing our green song. What's going on? I've been praying. I've been fasting, I've been seeking, I've been doing your word, I've been working my plan, I've been working my strategy, and I just need clarity. Show me what I need to know about how I'm going through. I need clarity. 
Somebody say, I need clarity. In order to get clarity, you got to go higher. Did you hear what I say? You got to go above the circumstances. Have anybody ever been on a plane uh, and it was raining and it was a little thunderstorm when we were like, oh God, me and my wife, where were we going? Oh, we were on our way to Vegas and both sitting in first class. You know, the, the devil play with your mind. If you sit in first class, you're going to be the first one to die. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. And you figure, if you sit at the tail of the plane, you got a better chance to live. Any kind of crazy stuff like that go in people's mind. You know, and so we was on a plane uh, uh, in first class. So I'm like, oh, Jesus. You know, we, and all this, and everything was going smooth, and they were serving us. And, they were turning, and all of a sudden, the plane just like, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Glass is flying in the air. You know how you've seen it in the movie? Glass is flying in the air. Water flying all around. The, normally, the pilot would say, a, a flight attendant, have your seat. He just said, sit down. Baby, what no time for no formal announcement. Sit down! He said sit down like he was scared too. I'm telling you, it, it wasn't that nice. And I said, the blood of Jesus, you know. Some of, some of y'all too ashamed to witness and y'all too ashamed to tell folks. Y'all know you're getting enough trouble. I see what come out your mouth. I don't know who I was sitting next to. He was over there doing this. I said, the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And so what had to happen? We was already 28,000 feet in the air, what had to happen? We had to go higher. Y'all missing what I'm saying? We had to go higher than the storm. Y'all ain't saying nothing. In order, listen to this, in order not to go down, we had to go higher. So what am I trying to tell you all? Ain't nothing wrong with 2022. You just need to run and get into a tree. You just need clarity from the Lord. Don't you be discouraged. Don't you be defeated. Don't you be upset. God knows everything. God remembers everything that he promised you. And so people of God, you've got to run in order to get to a higher place. And so I love what Zacchaeus did. He decided if I'm going to see Jesus, I got to beat everybody else to a place. Y'all know, have you ever been downtown for the fireworks? You get there early so you can get a good position so you can see the fireworks. You get that early so you can get a good space. So therefore, people of God, I came to encourage somebody. Get positioned for the remarkable. God is not lying. God sent his word, and he's going to fulfill his word. I don't care how bad it looks. I don't care how off track it gets. People of God, don't you give up on your remarkable you in 2022. Don't you throw in the towel. Don't you turn your back now. Don't you stop praying. Don't you stop fasting. Don't you stop believing. I'm just preaching and ain't nobody saying nothing. Don't you stop. You got to do what that kid did. You got to run. And therefore, keep running uh, till you get in a tree. Uh, you got to run. Uh, and therefore, uh, keep moving uh, until you reach your destination. Uh, you got to run uh, and run in front of people uh, to get in a position uh, to get higher. Uh, you got to run. Uh, get with a group of people uh, and run together. Uh, somebody that's trying to go somewhere. Somebody that's trying to be somebody, you gotta run. Look at three people say run. Three mad at me say run. Yeah. 
This is what I love about this. It ain't no excuses. You're not ready. Mother Connor running here on the walker. The boy right there running on the wheelchair. No matter how you get there, look at somebody say, run! Back like here, he ran and he got in the tree because I need to see Jesus. When I see Jesus, there's going to be understanding. When I see Jesus, there's going to be clarity. I'm on people of God. You've got to get to the place in your life where you don't give up. I don't care, and this ain't no word. How worse that it gets that you don't give up. Did you hear what I say? That you don't give up. And if you're going to hang on in there, and if you're going to get to that tree, if you're going to get to that elevator place, jump up and shout, run! Now praise them for that elevated place. Praise them for that elevated place. Run out of your trouble. Uh. Run out of your misery. Uh. Run out of your place. Uh. Get up, stop, and run! Uh. Run to your uh, run to your remarkable, uh, run to your miracle, uh, run to your height, uh, run to your deliverance. Somebody shout, run! Be seated. The Bible says, be seated. The Bible says, like he knew that he was short. Some of you all may not be short in stature, but maybe you're short in finances of what you want to do. Maybe you're short in credit history for what you want to do. Maybe you're short, too short to get this job. Or maybe you're a few degrees short of getting this promotion. Maybe you're just a little short from, from going where you're trying to get to go. Listen to me, look at me. He didn't worry about his height. He said, I got the goods. I just don't have the height. Are y'all listening to me? I got the goods, so I just don't have the height. So he ran with his goods, and he ran to the tree. That gave him the height. Now he say, I got the good and the height. And so here, let, let, let me get close to my mother. Finish here. Uh, uh, you got to see Jesus in the tree. You got to see Jesus in the tree on the road. You, you got to run Till you see him, look, you see that pathway to the tree? The pathway leads to different heights. The pathway leads to different dominions. The pathway leads to another level. You got to run up the path till you get to the tree that will take you to another level. Here, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you this part here. Because of the story, the sycamore tree became an elevated place of clarity. Without the sycamore tree, Zacchaeus wouldn't have been able to see Jesus. The tree is a symbol of a place where our lives are able to have a clearer vision. A clearer vision. And so people have got, I don't know what you're going through. But 2022 is still the year for the remarkable you. Did y'all hear what I say? I don't know what you're going through. But 2022 is still the year. Somebody say, it's still the year. 
is still the year of the remarkable you. Uh, for me, it looked like things were going in the right direction. Let me just tell you my part. Everything was lining up and falling in place. I shared a little of this with my Bible class students on Thursday. I wasn't just speaking, I was planning, I was strategizing. I was putting stuff together. And things were going pretty, pretty good. Uh, and things were gravitating to the point. Uh, I was focused, I was aiming, uh, 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 I was working. And now all of a sudden, the direction of the expected success has taken a turn. So I had to do like Zacchaeus. I had to run and get in the tree for clarity. Because I didn't understand, I, I didn't need faith without works is dead because I was doing, I had the faith and I was working the works. I was doing everything I was supposed to. Things were looking good. Do y'all hear me? <clears throat> For me, things were looking good. I started seeing some progress, God pushing and start going uh, 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 in a direction. And, and then all of a sudden, things took a different turn. Uh, 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 so I was like Zacchaeus. Uh, I still believed, but I just need clarity. Somebody say, I still believe, but I just need clarity. Uh, so while I was in the tree, uh, the Lord started speaking to me. Uh, while I was in the tree, uh, he started sending his word uh, to reassure me. Uh, while I was in the tree, uh, he spoke this to me. Uh, in all thy ways, uh, acknowledge him. Uh, he would direct my path. Uh, and while I was in the tree, uh, I started praying, uh, order my steps uh, in your word uh, and let not any iniquity uh, have dominion over me while I was in the tree. Uh, it came to me that the word is like a lamp unto my feet uh, and a light unto my path uh, while I was in the tree. Uh, the word came uh, that when my heart is overwhelmed, uh, lead me uh, to that rock. Uh, that is higher than I, people of God. What am I saying? Make the best out of your year. Go God and get into a tree so you can see things that your eyes ain't seen, that your ears ain't heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man. God is going to do what he said he's going to do. You may be too short to see it now. Maybe you can't understand it now. But all I got to say to you is go run. Get in the sycamore tree. Run. Get in an elevated place. Run. Get in a higher dimension. Run. Get on a higher level. Run. Because this is still your remarkable you. Somebody give God a shout. Tell somebody, I'm positioned for the remarkable. I'm positioned for the remarkable. Zacchaeus had to go higher. In order for us to survive the storm, me and my wife were in. He had to go higher. And this is the the key part of the story about me and my wife. We were both in first class, but they couldn't get us seats together. So she was in front of me, and I was in back of her. And so when it dipped, immediately I started looking at her to see was she okay. But when I looked at her, I saw a glass go up and water splatter. I said, the blood of Jesus. 
I can't be with her, but you're already there. As the people of God, let me just tell you all something. You all got to activate this word. You got to do whatever it takes to make this year remarkable for you. What am I saying? I know your plans might be deterred. I know it might not have turned out. You know, we had, I, I mean, it, it was just shocking to me. You know, I, I, I already had a plan for uh, January, February, April, and by May, I was going to be well on my way. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? But I'm still on my way. Listen to this. There was just a divine interruption. Just to see how high I'm going to go. You know, y'all do this then. How low can you go? God want to see how high can you go. Listen to this. Something softly said. The higher you go, the more he'll show you. Did you hear what I say? The higher you go, the more he'll show you. I came to encourage somebody. I came to lift somebody's spirit. Yes, yes, I, I, I know what they're talking about. And <clears throat> that the pandemic is not over and you know, there's going to be another variant. And, uh, uh, in Asia, they have over 20,000 people that uh, uh, have uh, uh, COVID-19. And, and they're trying to control it, this, that, and the other. But people, I'm going to tell you all something. Thank God for the blood. Thank God for the, the uh, 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 what you call it, the booth, the shot. Thank God for the vaccine. But people of God, don't nothing protect you like the blood of Jesus. There are people that have been vaxxed and boosted and still got it. Can I tell y'all something? When God allows the plague, you can slow it down, but you can't stop it. Read all in the Bible. Read all in the Bible. You can slow it down, but you can't stop it. And so, people, I believe that part of this is to bring us back to God. To bring us stronger in our relationship with God. I believe that God still has some things for you this year that he's going to do uh, because it's 2022. I want to encourage your spirit. I come against doubt. I come against fear. I come against dreariness. I come against depression. I come against discouragement. I come against confusion. And I speak life into your spirit that you believe every word that God has spoken. I speak healing to your body. I speak peace to your mind. I speak joy to your spirit. I speak a run, run, they get into an elevated place and watch God show you and do for you things that you've never seen. Somebody lift your hand and say, God, I thank you. Did you hear C.C. Wine is singing a little while ago? We believe for it. Did y'all hear what I'm saying? Come on, it's, it's, it's your vision. It's, it's your dream. Do you believe for it? Uh, it, it, it it's your future. It, it's where you want to go. Uh, just lift your hands and say, God, I believe for it. Uh, if you trust God, uh, people of God, you can't give up. Uh, people will give up on you. Uh, people will get tired of trusting you. Uh, people will get tired of hoping in you. Uh, but as long as there is life, uh, there is hope. Uh, I just want to know, uh, do you you believe for it. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. I know it's not easy. But all I want to know is do you believe for it? Somebody say, I believe for it. I believe for it. I believe. 
believe it. Come on. Stand up real quick. Then I believe it. Then I believe it. Come on. How many believe that today? Zacchaeus ran and got in the tree because he believed. Did y'all hear what I'm saying? He ran because he believed that Jesus was all he needed. I got to finish this next week. But Zacchaeus was a rich man. I keep telling y'all, money don't bring y'all happiness. It brings excitement because everything new turns old. But Zacchaeus said, I believe there's something deeper than I need. And the disciples are not going to let me see him. So let me run ahead of everybody else and get in the tree. And so on today, on today, if you know you need to run to get in the tree, to get clarity, just raise your hand. I'm not going to ask you to come up. You need clarity for something. Clarity for something. Father, I thank you. I thank you for every member in this house. I thank you for everyone in this room right now. God, things may not be clear, but give us strength to run and get in the tree. And while we're in the tree, let us see you clearly. Let us know you dearly. God, I, 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 I. Let us understand you precisely. Hallelujah. That we are positioned for the remarkable. God, I thank you now for everyone with their hands lifted, everyone with their hearts lifted that you won't forget about anybody in this room. That you won't forget about anybody in this room. I say that you won't forget about anybody in this room. And that you will include everybody in this room. You know what their heart's desire is. You know what their prayers are. You know where they're trying to go. You see what they're trying to do. And God, all we do today is say, I believe. Come on, somebody say, I believe. Come on, say, I believe. Think about your situation that you're trying to go overcome. Say, I believe. Think about how long you've been in it, how much it seems disappointing, and just say, I believe. Come on, think about the excruciating level and the intensity of the situation, how hard it gets, how discouraging it gets, and shout, I believe! The kid ran to the tree. Because he believed. You and I stream an audience. I came to speak to you right now. You've got to believe. To be positioned for the remarkable. Run in front of everybody else. And get in a position where you can see Jesus. Did y'all hear what I say? Run in front of everybody else. And get in a position to see Jesus. And when you see him, he's going to show you what's going on. And he's going to comfort you. And he's going to lead you and he's going to guide you into a plain path. And I want to encourage you. Stay positioned. Just reach out to somebody and say, stay positioned, stay positioned. What, what, what do I mean by that? Stay up in the tree until you see. Did y'all hear what I say? Stay positioned. Stay up in the tree until you see what God wants to show you. If you receive this word on today, give the Lord a hand praise. How many were blessed by the word of the Lord on today? 
Oh, come on, were you blessed by the word of the Lord? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, all I got to say is run and get in the tree. And when you get in the tree, God's going to show you what you need to see. Maybe there's somebody that don't know Jesus today. Maybe there's somebody in our stream and audience or in our physical audience. And you need to know Jesus as your Savior. The greatest decision you can ever make in your life is to give God your own. He can do more with you than you can ever do with yourself. So on today, that you pray with me, Father, forgive me for all of my sins. Cleanse me from all of my unrighteousness. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead. And Father, I ask you to save my soul to come into my heart and to make me whole. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now come on, let's give God a hand praise for those that just praise us. People, I don't know about you. I'm determined. Nothing is going to stop me. Can I just tell y'all something? Not even me is going to stop me. I was praying over me. And, and we don't always pray this prayer. But have anybody just got this point and say, God, get me out of my way. Okay, y'all ain't got there yet. Keep on living. Sometimes you are your biggest hindrance. And you got to pray while you try to pray on everybody else. Say, God, get me out of my way. Amen. And I, I, I want to share some more with you about that kid on next Sunday. But people of God, I'm determined. I'm determined. 2022 is the year for the remarkable you. I don't care what nobody said. And God gave us until October 17, 2022. As so I was sharing with my Bible class, y'all remember uh, 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 I said that we're going to walk into something that's going to serve us well for the rest of our life. People, what I had planned, I thought was going to be that thing to serve me well. But when I got into the tree and I began to pray, God said, just release it and let it go. This is what he said. Listen to this real good. Everything that don't come that way, more is going to come from another way. Y'all miss what I just said. Everything that don't come that way, Somebody say, more is going to come from another way. If you believe that, give God a name. <laughs> Position for the remarkable. All right. Y'all got till tonight to climb up in the tree. And I want you to stay in that tree all week long until God shows you and give you clarity. And I believe that God's going to do it if you take it by faith. Y'all know I'm not talking about a literal tree, right? All right. But um, I was thinking about doing an illustration and climbing up in a literal tree, but I was scared I probably couldn't get back down out of it. So I said, I just better get a picture. <laughs> but anyway, well, it's time to give. Thank you. Amen. How many cheerful kids do we have in our house? Amen. And then those of you that are going to pay your tithe and give your offerings on today, amen, I want you to 
Stand with your devices. Amen. Stand with your devices. If you're going to pay your tithe and give your offering on today, if you've already given it for the month or whatever, I want you to stand anyway. I want you to stand anyway. Amen. If you've already given it, you can see we have four ways to give. Amen. And you can choose either of those ways to give. Amen. Now, those of you in our streaming audience, you're welcome to give as well. You can see the ways to give. Hold your devices. Lord, your gifts up. Amen. Father, we thank you right now for all that you've done, for the word that you've spoken to us. We praise you right now, God, that while we're in the tree, you're going to give us favor that we can see, hallelujah. While we're in the tree, you're going to give us favor that we can see. We thank you right now, I pray, those that are paying their tithe, those that are giving their offer, that you give it back to them double in the name of Jesus. But God, this month, we thank you for favor for the month of May. Somebody say it with me, favor for the month of May. Come on, people of God. If you believe it, you shall have whatsoever you say. I say you shall have whatsoever you say. Favor for the month of May. And we give you glory. And we give you honor. In Jesus' name, send your gift to the kingdom. Now, Father, we bless you and we thank you for what our ears have heard. Thank you for the word of God on today. Bless us in and out this week, God. Keep us from the carjackers. Keep us, Father, from stray bullets. Keep us here behind us in your pavilion this week. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord, for this ministry, for this bishop, for God, everyone, visitors and friends and relatives. and We thank you, Lord, for them. Keep us now. Keep us, oh God, looking unto you, the author and finisher of our faith. We give you honor. We'll give you praise. We speak the blood of Jesus over every last one of us, our homes, our children, grandbabies. God, over the world at large, show yourself strong. Stretch out your hands now and keep us and bring us back at the appropriate time. And we'll give you honor, glory, and is thine in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Happy birthday. Have a good day. Don't mess it up. Don't let nobody else mess it up. God bless. Your money's gonna get better. Things are gonna work up for you good. Tell somebody. Your storm is over. I believe your rain is going away. Clouds have moved. I believe you'll make it through it. Oh, I believe it's already done. I'm excited about your future.